atheists have trouble accepting that we really don't believe in God. They like to think that deep down we're just suppressing our faith, but when we find ourselves in a really tough situation, we'll revert to our programming, we'll drop to our knees, and we'll start praying. After all, when they look at the world, they see God, so how could we look at the same world and not see him at all? Similarly, a lot of atheists have trouble accepting that theists really do believe in God. We like to think that deep down they know good and damn well that it's all a myth pop propagated by power-hungry shamans and that when the shit hits the fan, they'll abandon their superstitions and turn to a secular solution. After all, when we look at the world, we don't see a god, so how could they possibly look at the same world and see one? Now, clearly part of this is just a lack of intellectual empathy. They think we've got a god-shaped hole in our hearts, we think they've got a reason-shaped hole in their heads. It's a defense mechanism, kind of like the one where we demonize the opposite side of the political spectrum. It's harder to accept that they've looked at the evidence and come to a contrary conclusion than it is to create a caricature of their opinion and pretend that they're all heartless or stupid or whatever. And I suppose a lot of people would like me to just leave it there. I said something bad about one side, I said something bad about the other side, now can't we all just get along? But I think it's too neat and tidy to write it all off as a self-delusion. After all, when I start listening to somebody tell me that they believe that God's in heaven and Jesus loves them and Grandma and Sparky are waiting at the pearly gates for them, I don't wonder how they believe it. I wonder why they're not in a bigger hurry to die. If I ask them, of course, they'll tell me God has a plan for them here on Earth and they'd miss their kids or their grandkids or their friends or whatever. But if you balance the time we spend here on Earth with the eternity they expect to spend in heaven, it's an insignificant blink of an eye. Ten billion years from now, your grandkids aren't going to remember that you weren't on Earth when they were learning to poop. And why isn't everybody more eager for their loved ones to die? It seems to me that once mom has arthritis or even a persistent headache, she'd be better off in heaven where she doesn't have to suffer anymore. How selfish is it for me to hope she lingers on in minor pain for decades just so I can have her around to babysit the kids? Look, I've watched friends grieve the loss of a loved one, both theists and atheists, and I can tell you from a statistically insignificant unblinded anecdote that one doesn't seem to have any easier a time with it than the other. Somehow the person who professed to believe that their loved one is in a mansion with a golden driveway in paradise is every bit as bereaved as the person who believes that their loved one is just gone. How could this possibly be? When I say that I don't think theists believe their own bullshit, it's not something I'm basing on my own psychology, it's something I'm basing on their behavior. If you honestly believed all the way down to your core that you're going to go meet the people that you lose in a perfect world in the clouds after you die, how could you possibly mourn their passing? How could a funeral be anything but a joyous occasion? The religious dingbats of the world like to express their disbelief in atheists with one of the most pervasive and insulting cliches ever coined to smear rationalists. They like to say, there are no atheists in a foxhole. The idea is that even we heathens will turn to God if things get bad enough. Included, of course, is the unspoken assumption that when we experience this instantaneous conversion, it'll be their God we start praying to. You know, it never seems to occur to them that if that's how it worked, all the Christians in the foxhole would start praying to Allah, Shiva, and Odin just to be on the safe side. But I'd like to submit the opposite. When you're in the proverbial foxhole, myths and superstitions are cold comfort. When the bombs are raining down, nobody's saying, shit, man, I sure hope that one hits us. And if they were, we'd rightly assume they'd lost their fucking minds. I submit that when we're facing the uncertainty of our own deaths, we are all atheists by default. Contrary to the adage, when it comes down to it, there are no theists in a foxhole.